Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to another Monk Cave episode. Today we are not actually in the Monk Cave. We are get real close on the face here, because I'm super serious. We are in the mining shaft, and we are gonna do something fun today. A little bit of redstone, which I'm not an expert at, but we are gonna have some fun with it anyway. So let's look at our list, our book. Of things to be done episode 12 we are gonna start off doing a mining system which will include item filters and once we are done with that we are gonna head on over to the castle and start working on that dome so I haven't done anything since the last episode with that castle but it's gonna be really fun really exciting so I'm going to build my mining inventory system over here over in this direction but as you'll notice I don't have very much headroom so I have brought a special friend TNT that is right we are gonna have some fun with TNT today because TNT is awesome put that in there lever <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited I'm so excited oh yeah oh yeah this is awesome TNT I love you. I love you, TNT. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom. Yeah. All right, you guys. It's been a while since uh, I started building down here in the mine shaft, and I have to say, I love it. <laughs> I have done a lot of progress. Here I am. I'm going to show you what it all looks like. Here it is, 100% complete. Now, as you'll notice, I added in all the chests, a little decorations, and then an item frame for each item here. You got your dirt, cobblestone, regular stone for that silk touch pick, coal, iron, gold, redstone, lapis, diamond, emerald. Uh, I always forget these ones. Granite, diorite, andesite, gravel, and everything else. This is the everything else pile. See, like flint. I'm not going to need flint down here. So this is going to be for everything else that we might get from our mining experience. And I've added in item filters for every single one of these. Here is what an item filter looks like, by the way, if you've never seen one before. A couple of hoppers, comparator with some redstone on top, redstone repeater, and a torch right there. I've done this for all sides, and they're all set and ready to go. So they already have all the item filters 100% set up and complete. Now I'm going to show you the really, really cool part besides this. This is really nice. This is going to be super helpful. And I need to add like a glowstone down there or something. Anyway, I'm going to show you the really cool part. First, I'm going to have to explain this a, a little bit. So eventually, as we're mining, I'm going to get really, really far down in this direction. Now, I don't want to go really far down in this direction, fill up on my inventory, and then have to run all the way back to put it into these chests. So, I have devised a little something here. So let's say I'm down here mining away. I fill up my chest with stuff. I push the minecart down its way. It goes over the pressure plate, which activates this rail. Now, this pressure plate should be over here, but it interferes with a couple of different things because of the whole minecart going the specific directions and also when this mine minecart goes over it changes the rail over there and makes it makes it not work so pressure plate right there it goes straight across because <clears throat> that switches it then goes down this way it goes over another pressure plate that is hooked up to a comparator which then changes this rail to turn to the right it then goes up and hits a hopper where the minecart will sit on top of the hopper. We've got a little comparator thing going on here. And then we'll deposit all the items into the item filters where it does its thing. Once the minecart is done, it comes down, hits this pressure plate here, switches the rail, and comes all the way back to me. So I never have to leave mining. I can just keep doing it and doing it and doing it until my picks run out eventually. But that's how this whole system is going to work. Well, it's better that I just show you. So let me show you this part first. Here I'm going to push the uh, mine cart there. It goes up, does its thing, deposits the items, and there we go. And it comes right back to where I was. Now the normal mine cart, let me show you how that one's going to work. So I'm coming on back from my adventure. I hop on out of the mine cart there. 
It goes up and around, hits the cactus, and deposits right there ready for me next time. And if you didn't catch that, it was kind of quick. It went across, went straight, goes over this way. It does not activate the pressure plate, so it goes up and around, hits the cactus, hits the hopper, and then deposits right there. Ready for me to go for next time. So that is my entire mining setup. Eventually, I'm going to cover this up so you can't see it because uh, it's a little ugly right now. It's a little ugly, but it looks really cool. Looks really cool. So the next thing we are going to do is head up onto the castle here, and we are going to start building up that dome. And I am really excited because this is going to be one of the final parts of the build. This dome is going to be epic. I hope at least. Uh, I rebuilt it in creative mode and it looked pretty good. And so we are going to head on over there and start doing that. Let me see if it's nighttime. It was raining earlier. Is it still raining? Nope. Nice sunny day. That's what it is right now. So we're going to head on over to the castle there and I'll see you in a second. Yeah, that's a pretty sunset. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't my world beautiful? Especially in this texture pack looks great okay here is where we left off last time let me go up a little bit more here uh, as you can see we had those arches I haven't done anything else to this build since the last episode but today we are gonna start on that roof right there so what I need to do first is get the heck up there <laughs> uh, let's see I'm gonna use I've got all this wood, I'm just gonna use that. Now domes uh, are really difficult to build like off of memory. It's much easier to build a dome from a calculator. And that's what I'm gonna do. That's how I'm gonna do this because it will just be a million times easier than doing it any other way. Oh, and I gotta change this to spruce wood here. We're gonna head on up and start Alright you guys, so I have been working on this castle for quite some time now. And I have to say, I really like how it came out. Why am I jumping like this? I have auto jump turned off. Just jumping backwards. Anyways, uh, here's a big reveal. There you are. Now I have obviously added a few things to this build. Uh, I kind of gave the top a rounded feel and I gave the bottom a vertical feel. And I really like it. I really like it. There are a few other things I possibly might do to it though. I might add another column of these chiseled stone bricks somewhere. Uh, right about here is where I was thinking. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I will add a window here. That sounds like a pretty good idea. But what's really cool about this build is the inside. So let's go inside the massive door. <laughs> Let's go inside and let's check it out. Uh, I am gonna add some windows in the corners here. You can't really tell from the outside, but from the inside, it's gonna make a big difference. And of course right there too, that'd be a really good idea. Okay, so let's walk to the center here. And let's just look straight up. <laughs> this feels huge. This is a huge, huge, huge build. I don't think I've ever built anything this big before, but this is going to be a great room. And this build is almost 100% complete. I just have to add in the windows and uh, the outside is totally done. And that's all I'm going to do on the castle for a little while. The next step that I want to do is work on the grounds and make like a garden and some fountains and you know all that really fancy stuff. And it's going to be really exciting. So on the next episode, I don't know what we're going to work on. We're just going to wing it and we are going to have some fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button for more and I'll see you next time.